Well, for today's repair video, this, this comes as a little surprise to me. Usually when I repair something, it's I got it off Craigslist or some friends or family or something gave it to me, but this is one of my own items here. I recently upgraded my computer, got a new motherboard and CPU, and as I was swapping out my video card, I noticed a problem. Uh, this here is an XFX brand NVIDIA video card, and I've already gone ahead and taken off the cooler, so let's take that off. You can see there's a lot of surface mount capacitors everywhere, but if I come in here, you can see that guy is bulging, and there's a couple down here that are burst, and there's even some capacitors on here that are bulging out the bottom. And that just surprised me, but what's even more surprising is this video card still worked fine, had no signs of problems even during uh, gameplay. And still more surprising yet is these capacitors that have burst, they test fine on the ESR meter. So even though I'm still going to go ahead and replace them, and I've gone ahead and ordered all the replacement capacitors here, so I'm going to take those off and put those on. Uh, there's some interesting things to note here. There's actually two different types of capacitors on this board. And if I come in here, see if I can get a good angle. So this capacitor here, if you look carefully at it, you can see it's totally smooth on the top. And this capacitor right next to it actually has some ridges or lines in the metal. And here's another one with the lines. And what those lines are, they call that a vent. And the metal has been perforated such that if the contents of the capacitor swell up, it bursts, it breaks those lines, and it comes out the top like that. And, and they do that instead of the whole capacitor just physically exploding. But these ones like this that don't have any lines on the top, these are a different chemistry. They call these solid capacitors whereas these are sometimes called wet capacitors. And the they're both electrolytic capacitors, but inside this one, the electrolyte is kind of wet or like a paste. And if it gets too hot, it expands, turns to gas, and that's why they have to put the vent on to, to burst it out. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, these solid ones are a lot more reliable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all of the vented capacitors on here and the few there there's some solid ones There's some more solid ones and these solid ones. I'm going to leave alone But all of the vented ones whether or not they've burst out the top. I'm going to replace So that'll be today's repair job So here's the video card after soldering in the new capacitors and it was a little tricky compared to a lot of them. Um, circuit boards like this, it's a multi-layer board and it's got large copper planes on it. So it was actually rather difficult getting the original capacitors off the board and getting the new ones put in. But with a little persistence, got it done. So now the next step is to put the heatsink fan back on and give it a test. And I figure I'll go ahead and show um, putting it back on. Um, first thing you have to do obviously is remove the original heat sink grease here and that's as easy as just using some q-tips and some rubbing alcohol. So let's get that taken off. Now that you've got the thermal compound cleaned off with q-tip and rubbing alcohol, it's time to put the new stuff on and screw down the heat sink. And if you look on there you can see I've already put a tiny little blob on. You don't need much. In fact, I put probably too much on as is. You really just need maybe like a bit the size of a grain of rice. Put it on there and then you put the heat sink on and you screw it down. And the thing to understand here, when you put that down on the surface and you start screwing it down, if for any reason you pick it up, you have to clean the compound off with more rubbing alcohol and q-tips and put fresh stuff on. Because if you take it off, and then put it back on, there'll be an, a pocket of air in between the compound and that will reduce the efficiency and it'll overheat. So once you touch it down, you leave it on there and you screw it down in place. If you take it off, you have to start all over. So let's go ahead and mount the fan. Well, it might be kind of hard to see because of the low light, but here's the video card installed afterward. And it works great. No problems whatsoever. So definitely 
please uh, repair this. Glad it's back in use. Thanks for watching.